Yorkshire. It may not be the most obvious place to go chasing speed records, but this is Elvington Airfield, home to a two mile landing strip that was once converted for emergency space shuttle landings. The goal for Drayson Racing and its driver Lord Paul Drayson was to break the 200 mile an hour barrier in a converted Le Mans prototype racer, and in doing so break a record for sub thousand kilo electric cars that had stood for 39 years. It's really important to us, we're really here to try and set this new world record, to show what electric vehicle technology can do, to um, prove that there is no reason why an electric car can't do everything an internal combustion engine can do, and, and we're here to really to, to, to break this record. Regulations meant the team would need to run twice, in opposite directions up and down the runway, and all within an hour. Timing glitches earlier in the day meant that light was fading fast, and the pressure was on. The electric motors deliver 850 brake horsepower on tap, and 0 to 60 miles an hour is dispatched in just 3 seconds, 0 to 100 in 5.1 seconds. But with the car shorn of downforce to help it slip through the air, it's a real handful as momentum builds. In testing, Drayson had span out at 178 miles an hour, but even with the car bucking wildly as speed builds, he has no such problems today. The first run speed is 203.263 miles an hour, more than enough to put the team on track for its record. Now it's a race against the clock to cool the motors, top up the battery and get the car ready to run again before the sun goes down. Okay, please. Oh, timing says 2.05. 2.05. Hey, woohoo! Fantastic! 2.05. What's the average both ways? Okay, timing, here we go. Are you all listening? It's an average speed of 204.1580 miles per hour. Really brilliant, gosh, that was hairy, that last run, that was, yeah, what a oh, uh, absolutely, I said to myself at the beginning, I was not going to lift off whatever happened, and coming up to here, just as I was going past you, the car was moving about so much that I could hardly see where the beacon was, I could just sort of see where we were on the, on the runway, and just trying to keep it straight, keeping my foot in. Sigh of relief when I went past that timing beacon and just could lift off and, and hit the brakes. Drayson's final average was 204.185 miles an hour, a new world record. And having made the headlines, he now plans to evolve some of the technology he developed for the bid for use in future electric cars.